Now at this time I did uh, Rodeo for the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo and we had an opening at the Metropolitan Opera House in which I danced the lead and we got 22 curtain calls. It was a real ovation. I'm going to show you how one storytelling dance was built up from imitation or acting. The riding and roping sequence in my ballet Rodeo with music by Aaron Copeland. Now, there would be no point, I felt, in giving an exact imitation of a man riding, because without the horse, the movements are ugly and grotesque and silly. What I wanted to do was to give the, the emotions of the man riding, his power, his domination, his joy in, in pride and strength. How could I find gestures that would do this? Well, how does our cowboy stand and walk? He slouches. He squints in the hard sun. He takes his time. He never hurries. It's hot where he is, and there's lots of time. But when he rides, with the leather thongs flying out and the dark nurse skittering out from under the horse's hoofs. Now, how could we give the impression that the man was being carried and propelled by a 1,400-pound brute and that all the action initiated in the animal's body and not in his own? Well, I thought possibly by using the involuntary muscles, the spasm of the diaphragm as in coughing on the pelvis. And by putting this impulse, this driving impact, behind every gesture, the roping and the pulling and the stretching, watch these gestures without the impact. These I invented. 